be sensitive. Long ago, there lived a man, blessed by the gods and revered by the people as their savior. His name was Arden Lucis Kylo. And he was to have served as the first king of Lucis. We should. Okay. No, 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 no,
is unbelievable. <laughs> hey. Okay, we're back to the peaceful flashback. Era. Somnus. What the world? Forgive me, brother. But the throne seats only one. Oh, no. Gods, no. <laughs> oh, it's just a dream. Ah, <sighs> oh, that sucks. Arden Azunia, Chief Visithia would like to see you. <sighs> A seat. Hold up a minute. I'm praying. Are you enjoying your stay? No. You've been asleep for years. Learning to appreciate the waking world will take time. Perhaps I can help enlighten you while we dine. Been since you brought me. 204 days, roughly seven months or so. Then again, the Lucians had you locked away in that prison for nearly two millennia. I'd be more surprised if you hadn't Dang. lost all concept of time. You must loathe those Lucians for what they did to you. <sighs> what is it you want from me anyhow? What about me interests you so? You said it yourself, didn't you? You were chosen by the gods. And frankly, with powers like yours, I'd say you're nearly a god in your own right. We need those powers that you possess. With your strength on our side, we could finally put an end to the gruesome war with Lucis. You too must desire the fall of the kingdom that cast you into exile. Ah. <sighs> My desires are all in the past. The man who wronged you may have died long ago, but his descendants live on to this day. Surely you must bear them some feelings of ill will. My feelings are none of your concern. Open it? Okay. Is that... Ifrit the Infernium. <gasps> And brought him here? He was sound asleep, just like the legend said he'd be, so we put him on ice. Do you think you could turn him into a demon? If you managed to demonify a deity, you could learn truths no mere mortal could ever dream of knowing. You'll access 2,000 years of his memories, and if you can control him, he'll be a weapon of supreme power. It's certainly an enticing offer, isn't it? Just think you could exact sweet revenge through divine retribution. How do you know what I want? I don't, but Dang, I know we you talk. have no other <laughs> options. Well, shall we? 
Lucians. But how? Kunmi squad, Adagium sighted. Initiating Requesting backup from Nimbus squad. Shutting down communications until all clear. Ah, so you've come to kill me, have you? Or die trying. Just as you have killed me, fellow riders, I have no satisfaction in getting my eyes on the captain. Though I may be gone, my life lives on in time and time to the soldiers before I die. Oh, dang, what's going on? Blast! Uh oh, he's awake and not happy. He's alive. You must stop him before he destroys everything. Oh man. Oh dang. <laughs> Oh, Invernian, grant me the power to take Somnus, his people, and his cursed kingdom, and burn them all to the ground! No! Chosen to be king? Can we go? Can we walk forward? to Somnus, you had been chosen to be king. Huh? Huh? <laughs> I never dreamt he would try to kill you. But he did. <laughs> Somnus fooled everyone, so he could usurp the throne. Everything that happened, it's all his fault. No. Listen to me. It's my fault. I'm the one who ruined your future. This was divine retribution uh, for my sins. You've no sins to atone for. Uh, uh, gods! Answer me! Why have you burdened us with this fate? Era! That's right. Kill her. Put that monster out of its misery, just like I did. I... I can't. My calling is to save. <laughs> Just like you saved that innocent man by turning him into a demon. Please, Arden. You must live. I can't. Not without you. <laughs> Come. Why not give the lady what she wants? No. 
No! <laughs> Don't do it! Come on! No. Over there! Over there! Over there! No! Aw, <laughs> oh, dang! <sighs> Wasn't bad enough Once to again, kill her. Once again, you failed to save her. No surprise. A monster can do not but destroy. <laughs> you made us stab her. Let's get that straight. <laughs> I'll never forgive you, Somnus. This monster may not be able to destroy you, but I'll see to it that I destroy everything you built. Hear me, gods above. No longer shall I supplicate you for pardon. No longer shall I sojourn toward the light. Nay, the path I intend to tread is paved with blood and darkness. No longer shall I seek your guidance. This path uh. is mine to tread alone. The Empire's demonic experiments bore fruit before long, precipitating the production of the Magitech infantry. As recognition for his contribution to this research, Arden Azunia was inaugurated as Imperial Chancellor. Thanks to its newfound firepower, Niflheim managed to break the stalemate that shackled the nation for more than a hundred years, and, in turn, forced Lucis to scale back its magical barrier. The untimely passing of King Mors ushered in the era of a new monarch, and the young Regis Lucis Kylum succeeded the throne. Meanwhile, Arden began to spread the Star Scourge throughout the world, stealing people's memories and learning as much about the kingdom as he could. In time, those memories began to merge with his own, gradually transforming him into a wicked echo of his former self. And now, Yikes. at long last, the time for his revenge has come. are fated to perish. Who is he? We've yet to ID him. Whoever he is, it's clear he wishes us harm. You stay here. I am going to put a stop to this madman. Are you proud of me, Mom? Quiet, <laughs> promising. We should be able to break through the barrier with a well-timed assault. You ought to evacuate, lest you get caught in the crossfire. Yes, but there's something I must attend to first. I've got a king to kill. What? That wasn't part of the plan. I finished my work. Now it's time to play. But we... No, Barnes. You just stick to your plan and keep the boys in black busy for me. Now, off to see his majesty who lives in the house that Somnus built. Oh my, what big walls you have. All the 
Something wrong, officer. Ah, oh, you must be His Majesty. I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. Why are you here? Why, for you. The Royal Army. Oh, snap. Who are you? You ought to know, being a man of royal blood yourself. Ah, uh, Adagium. In the flesh. Here to bring the bloodline of Lucis. Come out, Somnus. The longer you wait, the longer he'll <laughs> suffer. <laughs> huh? Is he dead? You killed the king. Oh dear. Perhaps I don't know my own strength. Huh. Well, I know it is. Shouldn't his brother be dead though? did to you was unforgivable but i did it for the future of our kingdom of our people oh, a shit. small sacrifice for the good of society <clears throat> how noble our line has done everything in our power to protect our people just as the gods bade i was merely fulfilling my calling <laughs> and here i thought i was the blessed one but it was you all along I dare not ask your forgiveness. I do ask your understanding. What? You took everything from me. Everything. And you ask my understanding? I pray your soul find repose, brother. Arden did not like that at all. Dang, we killed the current king. We defeated the old king. I thought it was Ifrit that was talking, apparently it's something else. Ah, you're a little too late, we already did that. Why? Why do the gods deny me my revenge? Because thou hast been chosen to serve a different purpose. <sighs> to spread darkness throughout the world is thy true calling. Darkness? Soon, the true king will be born unto Lucis. He shall lead the people as their beacon of hope and drive away the darkness. In turn, thou shalt be the sacrifice, the limitless shadow that ushers in the light. Why must I continue to suffer? Have I not already sacrificed enough? The true king awakens, summoning the power of his forebears. He shall, at last, relieve thee of thy suffering. Then, the line of Lucis shall come to an end. And the revenge thou seekest shall finally be found. 
so it is ordained, and so shall it be. You say, I am not the savior of man, but his sacrificial lamb. And that I live only to die by the hand of the heir to an ill-gotten throne. That is the fate the gods have chosen to bestow upon me! Father, I say, defy thy destiny if thou dare, but know that it will grant thee a life of darkness unending, devoid of death's reprieve. What save thee, a dark man? Resisted. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, we already know we're going to do it anyway, so. Uh, yes? Because we're knowing this, we're going to do it anyway. Though, though I am to serve the shadows and surrender to the scion of a usurper. So long as it brings the royal bloodline to an end. So long as I get my revenge, I will submit. As thou shouldst, the fate bestowed upon a man cannot be changed. Now go, fulfill thy calling. Did you to know about this? That I was meant to serve as some sacrifice? Did you keep this from me? Era? E. What about you? Dear brother? Did you know? Answer me! Not once have I begged the gods for such a blessing. And I do not intend to kneel before you now. My impudence shall prove thine undoing, foolish mortal. <laughs> foolish oh, mortal. Oh, no, mortal. I'm a monster. Ugh. The path men tread was never meant for me. Mine is paved with blood and darkness. If thou wilt fight against fate, so shall it be. Oh, dang. What just happened? Oh, snap. Ghosts do not but haunt my tortured soul. Please, Era, won't you free me from this curse? Dang. She said, nah. Oh my god. Yes, my heart, if you must. But you will never kill my resolve. The gods who rule above and the men who reign below shall lend their strength to the king of kings. Only a fool would defy such opposition. Though mankind may not realize, everything in this world is preordained. Man exists solely by the grace of the gods and cannot live without. Resist if thou must. But know thy struggles are in vain. Okay, there's more. Am I alive? Oh, does 
it matter? Perhaps not. Jeremy. Ah, nothing matters. None of it. Not the blessed gods above, nor the accursed kings below. To hell with them all. as I have my revenge. I will spread this scourge across the earth, lure out this king of light, and kill him. Then, the entire world of Eos will be drenched in the darkness of despair for time eternal. I'm afraid you're out of luck. Off my chair, Jester. The king sits there. <laughs> 